it's Independence Day. Let's roast the forefathers. Thomas Jefferson. If you don't love Thomas Jefferson, you're probably his child or his slave or both. He impregnated his, his own slave. Also, he was a redhead. Do you understand how easy it is to point out a redheaded black person on a plantation? <laughs> we should tear out his statues and put up statues of the Jeffersons. Je Thomas Jefferson, fun fact, he doubled the size of the country and he tripled the size of his own slave population. Um, Thomas Jefferson, he, he was a president way back in the day, third president, yeah. He popularized ice cream in the United States and also while he was in office, doubled the size of the United States. He didn't expand the territory, just people got a lot fatter. This was fun. George Washington was the first person that we know to become a mule farmer. When you cross a horse and a donkey, that you get a mule, which also means that he was the first president of the United States and the founder of the donkey show. What we don't know about is what other two set animal pairs did he... Yeah, a mad scientist version of like Noah's Ark, where he's like a beaver and a badger. The names are so similar. Let's let's see what we can get. Well, George Washington, I think we were supposed to think that his dentures were made out of wood. It turns out they were actually made out of uh, walrus and slave teeth. Um, so that's a brutal truth. And it's also why I don't feel comfortable singing Ebony and Ivory in public. Martha Washington, she was born 64 years old. Martha is the name of a 77-year-old woman that drinks Ovaltine and eats Smuckers and watches Murder, She Wrote and listens to Bill O'Reilly. Yeah, James Monroe uh, hated the Constitution. He ran unopposed for second term and bought Florida for $5 million, right? He's basically Trump with a time machine, isn't he? Yes. Look at that. I think uh, $5 million is still what Florida's worth. John Adams is actually a pretty decent guy, just not likable. He's the only one of the first five presidents who didn't own slaves, which is good, but he still managed to piss off the abolitionists. And that's why, to most people, his greatest accomplishment is being portrayed by Paul Giamatti. John Adams was so unappealing that he was played by Paul Giamatti in ugly makeup. They had to make Paul Giamatti harder to look at to be believable as John Adams. If John Adams was in Sideways, Paul Giamatti would have played the hot guy. People think we've never had a gay president, but John Adams didn't want to be called Mr. President. He wanted to be called His Highness, which... <laughs> <laughs> Probably first gay president, it was James Buchanan. The man that was in his cabinet that he was rumored to have been like sleeping with, the position he gave him was Secretary of the Interior. Ah. I, that's not, that's not even. Apparently two of James Madison's uh, vice presidents died in office and nobody ever questioned it. Um, yeah. So people always spend all the time about like talking about how he's the fourth president, but I, I like to think of him as the first Michael Peterson. Then you got the lesser known founders who are famous for weirdo things. Like uh, Benedict Arnold is synonymous with being a piece of shit. And John Hancock is the forefather whose name is most